Jumanji. All this has to be cleaned up in the morning by 5.30. My boys up there spraying. Good thing. Those shit's a bad thing, guys. Real bad. Thank you, my eyelashes. This shit's a bad thing. Good thing. Place was huge, guys. Let me take you outside real quick. Gonna show you what we did. Why well, he's doing it and trying to get some fresh air. But, I mean, this dude fucking did all this canopy here, all the way down, before they got the tent on there. We did this big white thing right here, before they got the tent on the top of that. We, we sprayed all this side. So whatever you see over there, all those ceilings, they're already done. And this side over here, we did too. So we're just like right in the middle. It's kind of fucked up the way they did us, but we got it done. Uh, you know, the way they did us, people had to come in and shop, and you had to have it unbagged in the morning time so shoppers can get in and do their shopping. You know, so I'm kind of afraid to open that door right there. I'm kind of afraid the alarm might go off on us. Well, fuck it. <laughs> well, right here is this. What we did, me and him, we did uh, about a month back. Yeah, I say about a month back. All these ceilings in here. Two guys. Two guys. I'm going to show you what else we did. And, and, the, and look at these ceilings. Look at the paneling on them. You got to spray both sides. You just can't spray one side and move on. You got to get both sides and then you move on. And this is motherfucker, I'm telling you what, this motherfucker ain't small. Trust me. This ain't no baby. And we did this in here. See all these ceilings down through here? And they enclosed this. But yeah, man, we did all that. Every bit of it. And uh, back rolled the walls with some shitty ass uh, paint that Menards wanted. Besides wanting to get block filler, they got some kind of interior fucking who knows what. And it just was junk, dude. I had to, I had to do it twice, dude, and it sucked. I didn't want to do it twice, but let me get this off. Sorry, guys. Oh, I was in there fucking mixing that paint with Anderson, that pit thing paint. Oh my god, boys, let me tell you, and the girls, man, you guys mess with that shit. Oh man, you are in for a rude awakening. That shit will light you up. You'll taste it in your mouth for days, man. It's called pit thing. And it's a, got a part A and a part B. And you take the part A and a part B and you, you mix half of them together. Like say you got a fiver of part A and you got a gallon of part B. Well, you take the gallon of part B and you take the fiver of part A. And you mix them both in, say, say you mix the fiber in another five-gallon bucket. You pour half in another five-gallon bucket, you know. And you take your gallon can and you pour half of that in a fucking gallon can. So there you have half. So what you can do is you uh, then mix your damn, mix your paint and your... Uh, 
and your uh, xylene. You mix your paint. So with a half a gallon, with a half a gallon and a half a fiber, it's a it's a half a gallon of xylene, of course. So sometimes people like to mix a little bit more to stretch it, but if you're doing a whole gallon of uh, if you're doing a whole gallon of hardener and a whole gallon of uh, fiber of uh, part A in this paint, then I would advise you use way more than just one gallon of hardener. I'd say about a gallon and a half of hardener. Just to keep it alive the whole time you're spraying with it because sometimes it likes to start getting thick and some sprayers don't like that. You know, they start wanting to spit and stuff. Yeah, we've been dealing with that here. So, just a little heads up, you know. If you think your sprayer's messing up, it probably ain't. It's probably that, you know, if you're spraying with pit thing. So... But what's up, guys? What's everybody been doing, man? I haven't... I've been working all the time, dude. I barely read anybody's comments when I do get on here and yap my jaws. To be honest with you, my guys. Tap dance. Oh, man, I'm not in the mood for tap dancing. Shit, man. I'm working. I'm working, my man. Yeah, no, I don't want to, man. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe some other time I will for you. I do have some film of me tap dancing, so, I mean, I can still get down. But not in these boots. <laughs> So what's, what's your, what have you guys been up to, man? Look at this. I'm out in uh, Wisconsin, guys. I'm out in Wisconsin in a lumber yard in the back of a Nards, locked in until like 4.30 in the morning. And then I get to get out of here. So I'm like, I'm locked in like a prisoner in the Nards, and I can't get out. <laughs> That's fucked up, ain't it? Wow. It's crazy. What would you do? You were locked in Menards all night and couldn't get out. Man, that'd be fucked up, wouldn't it? Well, I am. I'm locked in Menards and I can't get out. <laughs> but, uh, shit, man. I haven't talked to Durkey in a while, man. I don't know why he's still running these yappers at me for. I haven't said one word about the kid. You know, I really haven't, man. I've been working and doing my own thing, man. I don't bother nobody, and they all making videos and shit about me, and, which that's cool, fun. Do what you got to do, you know. That's awesome. I, I laugh at them, to be honest with you. <laughs> I sit there and laugh. To, I laugh at them, bro. I can't help it. I can't help it. The shit they come up with, I laugh about it. I can't help it. What kind of guy I am. I don't want to share no. Oh, I don't want to share a broadcast. What's up, uh, Terry? What's up, Terry and Tina Spear? What's up, guys? What are you up to? Chilling for the night, kicking back. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna get on in here and see what's up, and I'm gonna hit you guys up. See if this dude needs any paint. Well, here, actually, let me set my phone right here. Now run right back out. Okay. I tried to get her in and out, guys. But yeah, you're not. There's no way. There's a bunch of shit to do in there, man. But uh, no. I'm just gonna come out and quit smoking. Uh, let him spray that, cause man, when he's spraying that, you just gotta make sure your hoses aren't turn up, aren't turning up the poly, cause that shit will stain the floor real bad. And uh, pretty much make sure it runs and got paint in it. Yeah, what a job! I love it. Easy. I can do that for tonight. 
But I tell you what, at the end of the week, like doing all this miscellaneous stuff to get this shit done. Oh, it's so beat, dude. I think that would go for anybody, man. Just doing a bunch of miscellaneous shit that you haven't did in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, fuck, man. Uh, my legs, my back, my back of my arms, my back of my head, everywhere hurts. <laughs> I ain't no joking, dude. So what do you guys think about that? You think Mikos, is that their names? The Mikos? You think they had something to do with that murder? You think they had something to do with that, that murder of that young guy? Man, he was in their band. I don't think he had anything to do with it, but if he did, but man, that was wrong, dude, of you. Just saying, bro. You know. And, and you're going to face a higher power, my friend. On Judgment Day, God's going to look at you right in your eyes. And he already is going to see Satan in you. Man, dude. You're going to be burning in hell for eternity, my friend.